Hello and welcome back to Gaming Like It's 1979. In our first video on Fool's Errand, I kind of blew through a lot of the puzzles quickly to show what the uh, what they were like. And I skipped some of the more complicated ones and uh, also tried to not do re repeats. Uh, in this video, this is kind of the extended dance remix video where we're just going to continue the let's play and solve as many puzzles as we can in about an hour. And this may be a, a series that goes on for a while. Uh, whenever I feel like playing Fool's Errand, I'm going to continue this game and we'll see where it takes us. So let's pick up our save file. We stopped at the sun's map. Now, I've often wondered, um, each one of these tiles on the sun's map corresponds to one of the stories that you do in the Fool's Errand that you read. And the hints in the stories help you figure out where these tiles go. One thing I actually have always wondered, uh, but I've just have not been uh, disciplined enough to see is whether you could keep track of um, while you're earning these, uh, which one is which. I, I've never been uh, uh, diligent enough to do that. Uh, I'm not sure it would actually help you that much to, because you can't really know where each one goes without having the others to refer to. So just something I've wondered. All right, so let's see, what do we have undone here? Let's just start randomly here. All right, so this is a word scramble. And again, um, massive spoilers for Fool's Errand. Um, you know, if, if you think you might want to play the game, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. You should probably play it yourself. But if you just want to get the vibe, that's what I'm here for. So let's see. I remember these are numbers. And I think once you know that what you're looking at is numbers, it becomes pretty obvious how to unscramble these. Mm. Yeah, I need to learn how to spell. That's hilarious. Okay. This must be 19. A four letter word. It's got to be 17 here. And then that has to be five if it's got a V in that position. 17. Could be, has to be 16. 16 probably, and 13. I seek the sacred six and thirteen, but this cloud offers me trifles and said, this is going to be a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, let's see. No. I'm blind. Hmm. For some reason, um, these puzzles can really shake your faith in your own ability to have a good sense of spatial manipulation. Um, even if it is just 2D. Okay, so I remember this is up here somewhere. I think it's a person kind of worshipping and then a second person standing behind them. That's this guy. Right. With the fool's staff, or his bag on a stick like a hobo. Are we allowed to use the word hobo still? Like a hobo from a um, 
you know, 1930s song, we'll put it that way. That looks wrong, doesn't it? Something's weird there. There's letters, so that's got to be the deal. Right, and I need a little bit of a curved E, I think. There we go. So this whole thing here is down too far. There we go. And there's an FI 15. What do you say? Six and 13. That has the W from two. That's the corner. That has to go there, I think. No. Aha. It's backwards. To just this. Yay! And that's the cloud. So, to kind of start putting together what's going on with the sun's map, you can see that in the vision, it's described as a barren field pitted with jagged rocks. And he can see the numbers 15 and 2 and 20. And so if we start, let's just start exposing all of these. Maybe one of these looks like a barren field with rocks for the sake of argument. Right. And you would start trying to put it in relation to a tile which maybe had the number here. Here's the tile with the number two. So the barren field of rocks would have to be near those uh, 15 and 2 and 20, for example. So that's what's going on there with the sun's map. And now we've exposed everything, so maybe at the end of the next one we can um, try it out. All right. Well, again, we, we've been in a theme here. I think I would recognize, I'd like to think I would recognize this even if I hadn't played it, um, which is we've been doing this theme here of numbers. And I can already see like the number eight or the word for the number eight kind of. And I see like, 14 or 15 is probably here. So that has to be an N if that is correct. And then we need an E there. That won't fit. That doesn't make sense. That fits. And so there's our OU. Yeah, this is all coming together. Uh, I do apologize, this is a very clicky game and my mouse is pretty loud, but we're all friends here. It's the day after Christmas when I'm recording this, so you'll forgive me. I'll probably, when I uh, put this on uh, the channel, I'll probably put some music in the background. I know it sounds super cool to you right now, but I'm hearing Silence. Oh, so let's go to the sun's map now. Uh, so the previous one was 15, 2, and 6, right? It was the vision. 15, 2, 20, rock, barren, field. And this one is... Beyond the field stood a woman in a long black cloak. Behind her were two chalices, two chalices filled with bubbling liquid and three others spilled on the ground. So if we go to the sun's map, here's a new piece. Let's click on it. All right, so this doesn't necessarily look like 
any of the ones that we were looking at. I mean, it could be. It could have a one-to-one -one correspondence, but um, the thing I had wondered is, are you literally unlocking the tile that looks like that? If you know the answer, please uh, leave a message in the comments below. Oh, I hate these. I'm going to do that every puzzle. Fortunately... Okay, so again, clicking on these, this is going to be numbers again, right? Like we see six, we see een, those are numbery things. So let's click on each one in the, oops, each one in the abstract. Begin again as command B, dash S-I-N. like converted something n dash s i n t is it converting t's to dash s i does that make sense yeah that's what it does okay so you, if you really wanted to be systematic about this i guess we could start writing that down this seems to invert let's see what happens if we do that that added an x and a T and that completely reversed thing, reversed everything. So if we want to get an X at the end, right, five then six would get the X at the end, and seven should turn those T's into dash SI dash SI, right? Okay. So it feels like we need another X somehow. We're not getting it, so. So does that imply? Okay, that kind of implies to me, if there's only one X that we ever get. Now I just got two of them. Why did I get two of them? I see, because each one adds them. All right. So it's going to be some combination of these two. Dash SI, dash SI. So like, I think we're going to want something like 66. That's my bet. Um, can I undo one move? No, I cannot. Darn it. Okay, and that's adding a TEE. -E. What happens if we, I think if we flip it now, it's too soon, right? Flip. Okay, so what, what does one and two do? One as an EE -E looks like. And this adds TEE. -E. And we know that that, sorry, that turns all the T's into dash SI's. So, so the TEE -E is going to come sometime after that, right? And then it, one of these ends has to come before. No, because it's good. It's the T. It's going to transform. Wait, and if the, that becomes SI, okay. So that's now correct. What did I do? That's where we were, I think. If that 
T becomes a dash S I, then that we've got something in dash six, which seems correct to me. So what if we, okay, so now we've got that six. This is going to add I don't know. I think I was almost there though. What did I do? One, four, six. I think. 16, 16. I was sure it was going to be 66 after all of that. It is interesting that some of these are just there's no puzzle to do it's literally revealing the uh, revealing the text for the sun's for the sun's map steep mountain path let's go yeah it doesn't look like a steep mountain path to me i'm kind of dreading going back to the high priestess puzzle i, I still think like maybe that's one i do offline because it's just so visually ugly to look at Also, what time did I start? I don't want this recording to be too long. All right. A word find. Um, I'm unclear at this point if I'm going to edit out the word find or leave myself, leave video of myself doing it. Um, the, the challenge is finding something interesting to say. I, I really, you know, if it's me in silence doing the word find, I still don't know, but uh, maybe I could find something interesting to say while we talk about it. So this looks like this is birds. So um, when you've done these for long enough and you've been staring at them, you start seeing bits of words that you think should be whatever it is you're searching for, like this macula, like. <laughs> Maclea is not a bird. I absolutely, by the end of this, will think that it should be a bird. Got a nightingale, a buzzard. Uh, and I like to try, and usually fail, to get all the horizontals and, and or all of the verticals at once. Whippoorwill. Nice thing about birds, yeah, like Prowk, like it totally feels like a bird to me. Uh, even though I know it's not. Um, nice thing about a word search that is birds rather than countries is, you know, countries go away. Uh, even if a bird, God forbid, goes extinct, um, you know, it's still valid for it to be in a word search. Whereas I think it's kind of cruel to younger people for Czechoslovakia to be a country, to be something you're looking for as we saw. Vulture, hiding right there. Crow, nice small one. I feel like Raven should be here somewhere too. Cardinal. Boy, we are pattern matching machines, aren't we? Humans. I've been playing a bit of Talos Principle 2. So, you know, games and puzzles as a way of interacting with the world is something that's been on my mind lately. Swallow. When the swallows go back to Capistrano. There's a reference many of you under 50 probably won't recognize. Okay, so that's all the easy ones. And now we've got five left. So, Bobolink. That's a tough one. I edited this out of the, um, the live Let's Play of the first part of this game. But I find myself wishing that this was 
made more use of color. I feel like it would be easier on my eyes. I'd be able to more quickly distinguish the pattern maybe if it wasn't just black and gray. I don't know, maybe that's false though. Owl has to be here. I just saw O-W-O. -O. Uh, owl would be a nice small word to be hiding somewhere in here. I keep, I keep almost finding it, right? I feel myself going blind trying to do this. There's another WL, not an L. I don't know, maybe trying to guess or remember the names of birds before you actually see them is a fool's errand. <laughs> if you see what I did there. But I always find myself doing that anyway. Parakeet. Three to go. Hmm. Auk, right? No. Koran. That should totally be a bird. Jajni. very top here again. Any row like this that has like two long words in it can't be anything else, right? And it's frustrating because you know, I mean, I just know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm probably scanning right over it. And those of you who have seen it already are jumping up and down in your chairs. How can you not see it? But that's the way a word search works. I so want that to be owl rather than owl. <clears throat> Vino. Dervino, that's one like I want. Of course, a Dervino should be a bird. Absolutely. All right, one more scan down, and then if I can't find it, I'm going to go on to a different puzzle. We know that these save the state from our first Let's Play, so we can always come back to it. And we will come back to it. I guess an auk could be a uh, could be a bird, but I'm not actually seeing auk. I'm seeing something that looks like auk, but isn't. Finch, right there. Yeah. See what happens here is, so this is maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong about more color helping because I absolutely my eyes went over this six times, but. The gray of the eye definitely broke this up in my mind. So instead of reading it as Finch, I'm like Finn and Inch. All right, two more. Duck, same thing. One more to go. It's got to be Owl, right? I mean, it just has to be. 
We've done goose. I'm now trying to pay special attention to when I cross a letter because, you know, maybe cognitively I'm missing that. No? Canary, blue jay. Oh. Well, this is killing me. There, there's one more in here, uh, but it's it's driving me nuts and, and I'm, I don't want to spend 20 more minutes on it. So we'll come back to this one with one to go. Arr. All right, word search of some sort. Can I move these? All right, they only move within a row. Twig, right? Star. Miss twig idea root. I don't know if there's a pattern here or not. Nice short words. Oh, PYR. I bet it's got to be pyramid. So we can. Pyramids. With an S. Alright, soup. Uh, lard? Iron. Iron. Star pyramids, we were right. Quaint stone cottage. Oops. Map is starting to come together. So we were on the children, right? Another one of these, oh boy. Clearly a sentence. That feels good. Two, five, four. Two, five, four, six. The last of those who care. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh God, another one of these. <laughs> if this is what I think it is. To solve this puzzle, use the clues shown in the picture to find the correct letters. Okay. So I read that as a young person, and frankly, as an old person, I read that and I'm like, okay, so they're dancing, so maybe it's, you know, jig, maybe somehow it's these letters. Ah, that is in fact it. Okay. I was going to complain because I thought this was another one where you have to move the mouse around and look for some cursor transformation. But I'm wrong. This is a legitimate puzzle. Uh, taking the first letter of each of these, uh, of this quote, it's Leap for Joy. L-E-A-P, Leap for Joy. That's a good one. I like that. So, fool's errand, I'm sorry for almost maligning you. And another jigsaw puzzle. I 
think I, I'm not being super smart here. I remember this one. And so I, I'm not going to pretend like, oh, what could it be? I did it however many years ago. And so, you know, less interesting maybe, but watching me struggle is not going to add to your enjoyment. So I'm not going to pretend. Some of these I absolutely have forgotten. And when I'm struggling, I'm not kidding. I really don't know where the last bird in that word search is. Is there somewhere? I've found it before, but I can't find it now. I'm just going to continue to do this because I think it's more fun when the sun's map looks chaotic. The family. Well, we're starting to fill in. You know, you're getting the feeling here. There's still a lot over here in the second section. Um, I do wonder, I suspect the answer is no, but I do wonder whether Cliff Johnson has some sort of progression. Like, are these divided up in any systematic way, in any meaningful way, semantically meaningful? Or is it just, they're divided up. It's a, they're big buckets and he poured stuff into the buckets. I don't know. Oh boy, another word search. I can look very, very foolish. The colors are so beautiful. Okay, we're going to be systematic. We're going to go from the top left horizontally first. Purple. And there's 25 of these, right? Let's see. Violet, one of my favorite colors, violet. I guess it's uncertain. Like, does violet exist as a puzzle? Do we only you know, Sir Isaac Newton decided that violet was in a ra rainbow, and so we treat it as a its separate color. I don't know. Color is a lie anyway, right? We all know that. Chartreuse. Now there's a fancy one. Crimson. Ah, Ursuline. That classic color. Aquamarine. Ochre. All right. So that, that felt like a very productive scan through. Let's go vertically. Vermilion. So now the colors jump out at me more than the birds did. Turquoise. One of my favorite pencils is, uh, I guess it was Eagle and later Barrel, and now it's some other company. It makes a turquoise pencil. I have a box of them on my desk. I love them. Yeah, we should not have some fun. I went and had to order them because it turns out there are people who collect uh, vintage pencils and sell them. And so the nice thing about it that I love, it's got this little metal cap instead of an eraser in that. I get them in a, a very hard, um, a very hard hardness. And I like them for sketching and for doing, you know, taking notes. Let's see. I wanted that to be yellow. It was not, but that is green. I like the idea of just doing one scan through and then however many I find, that's how many I found and we'll, you know, leave them for the t closer to the end game. Have some nice, comparatively easy puzzles at that point. If I don't, you know, maybe I'll finish it. Who knows? Brown. Five to go and we still have quite a few columns to go through, so it's possible. Gray. Wonder if we'll get both spellings of gray. A story. Well, I feel like I'm going to save this story. I was going to tell a story about an old adventure game and the word gray, but I'm going to save it for maybe actually doing that game sometime. Now we're reaching the end here, so clearly I've missed a couple. I've missed four. 
Let's do one more quick scan, just looking for places where we crossed a row, because as we learned from the bird one, my brain is very prone to missing, to breaking the beige. There's one. Yellow. There's yellow. I knew it was there somewhere. So now we've only got two left. I'm not going to spend 50 minutes on this. I'm going to do a quick scan. Lavender. Again, like the bird one, we've only got one left. Um, I like the idea of leaving this. We're going to leave it. We'll come back to it. The moon. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to save this for the next video. I, this, this, this will... It's going to break my spirit. I hate these so much. I'm just going to click everything, right? Let's click everything get the vibe what these create. Okay, so that, I said I'm going to skip it. That kind of looks like a real letter shape, doesn't it? So let's just work on that first letter. Which one side effect that? That gets us further away. That feels like it gets us further away too, but it might be relevant. All right, that looks good, doesn't it? I think all right, we got the A. I feel like maybe, maybe I need to go. All right, let's work on the right one. Let's look for buttons that only affect the right and get us closer. That looks closer. That looks further, further. Oh. Yeah, I remember spending, I don't know, hours on these, but, but that, that seemed much easier than I remember it. I don't know that I ever really thought of these in the okay well, i'm giving someone epilepsy here i don't know if i ever really thought of those in terms of breaking the image up into zones even though in retrospect it seems obvious let's go back to the map Giant wheels stood near the pyramids, and I saw three mystical words, one atop the other. No. No, fam. I can't do it. Sure, let's do a nice, relaxing puzzle. Crossword. Crossword. Where did I get crossword from? Jigsaw. This one feels very um, straightforward, comparatively speaking. I think that's if you uh, so in the um, in the live in the stream let's play. I talked about his introducing the um, the shuffling mechanic, where when you're almost done with a puzzle, it shuffles it. And I talked about how much I don't like it. I do understand where he was coming from. Like, I think he must have felt that it was too simple, right? Too obvious. Like, oh, it's a it's a jigsaw puzzle. What's what's creative about that? Um, I think he's mistaken though. And, and I'll tell you why. I, I think with a puzzle game, this is my own personal opinion, obviously. Um, I think with games like this, you're, you're activating your brain, you're, you're solving puzzles, and it is inherently exhausting. You know, it's like um, driving a car and having your foot on the accelerator the whole time. It, it, it does a type of fatigue where if the game is too hard, um, I need to stop playing. I gotta go like take a nap or something. And uh, for, for this game, the fact that there is this um, variation that oh, there's some hard puzzles there's some easy puzzles that works for me that works really well uh, it means that I don't necessarily have to stop uh, as often because instead of uh, going full throttle the whole time I can kind of take a break you know 
while still playing the game. I get a, I, I get a little reprieve. So that's uh, that's my opinion. So ooh, I just messed that up. It is interesting that with the puzzles, um, the puzzles do connect these stories, right? This is why I was getting to my question about how these are arranged, because we just did a jigsaw puzzle with, about the thief. And I think that was, which one? That was like the tower or something. I can't remember, honestly. But it was not the one immediately before the thief in the list but it brings us to the thief and we see the word rw which was in that puzzle so so clearly there was a path i mean i guess the answer is the path is the moon's map right like this is literally the path through the tarot there's an r and a w i wonder if that's related oh and here we go another one that i don't like so when I first encountered this, you know, find, it says find the hidden letters. And I'm here saying, you know, uh, trying to say, oh, is someone pointing, you know, so maybe it's the word point or something. So this is another one where I've always felt like the clue should be in the picture, but really it's just move the mouse to the right point. And so if we slide over here, I take no credit for this. Um, this is a dumb puzzle and I don't like it. Uh, I think that this is a good place to stop. We've gone through a good number of the Fool's Errand puzzles. Uh, so this has been Gaming Like It's 1979. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.